This is the video for Unit 3, Lesson 6. I'm sketching polynomial functions using intervals. Um, so the goal is going to be using intervals, um, positive and negative intervals, as well as increasing and decreasing intervals to um, sketch a polynomial function. Um, so uh, the one example we're going to look at is if we have um, these statements that give us the positive and negative intervals. Um, remember, uh, positive and negative intervals, when we look at our x-axis, that's essentially um, really where it changes from positive to negative is essentially identifying for us our x-intercepts. So this is a fancy way of saying our x-intercepts. So the points that are listed as the endpoints that are shared are really going to be our x-intercept points. Um, I see I have a negative 3, for example, in both of these. That means that negative 3 is actually uh, an x-intercept. So I'm going to write that down. Um, same thing with I see a negative 2 up here in both of these. Uh, that's also going to be an x-intercept. Um, we um, also see a 0 up here in both. A, a 2 up here in both. And a 3. All right, um, so those are all going to be x-intercepts, so I'm going to write all those down. So that's a 0, 0, a 2, 0, and 3, 0. So I actually have five, um, we actually have five x-intercepts here, right, which actually means that this is going to be end up being an odd, an odd degree. Um, so the first thing is we maybe want to plot those. on our graph. Um, so maybe I'll go, this will be one, two, three. So I'll have my negative three right here. Um, I'm going to have a uh, negative two, zero. I have zero, zero. I'm going to have a uh, two and three. So I got my five, my five intercepts. Um, since there's five intercepts, I actually know that this is going to be a degree of five. So that's something that could be helpful later. And then also, um, we're going to see with increasing and decreasing, that might kind of help us too with the end behavior. Uh, the next thing we're going to look at is um, the increasing and decreasing intervals. That's going to help us identify our max and mins. All right. And, and specifically, increasing um, the... Um, the left hand or the right hand value um, is going to kind of give us what our maxes are, right? Because it increases up to that point and then it changes. So that's like the highest it goes. Um, so we can see we actually have a max at the x value of negative 1 and a max at the x value of 2.5. Um, they don't tell us specifically how high it goes. So I might just simply on our graph, I'm going to go to where I see negative 1, which is like right here, and maybe go a little higher up. I don't know how high that max is going to go, but I might, and I can even label that if this is a max. I see 2.5, so 1, 2.5 is like right here, and I, maybe I'll do a second max. Um, I don't know how high to go, but I just know that um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a higher point in the graph. Okay, um, for the, um, the second part, the decreasing, um, the lower bound is going to tell us the, um, the min, right? So I can see it decreases up into negative 2.67. It decreases up until the value of 1. And then I have those infinities, which we're going to take a look at in a moment. So I know I have some min values. And so um, I'm going to find now a uh, negative uh, 2.67, which is somewhere around here. And I know that there's going to be a low, so maybe I'll make this a min down here. And then we know we're going to have another min at um, positive 1. Maybe I'll do another min over here. All right. And then finally, um, <clears throat> we know that we're going to have these... Uh, the end behavior. So if I go from left to right, the furthest point to the left is this negative 3. And then if I look at where I see um, negative infinity, I 
I actually see it um, right here. So it's decreasing up until a negative infinity to 2.67. So um, what that kind of tells us is that when I go left to right, it's getting lower. So what that tells me is if I go from negative 2 to 0.67 and I go through that intercept, that it's, when I go left to right, it's decreasing. And then I also see here that the um, it's decreasing on positive infinity as well. So when I go from 2.5, which is a max, all the way down through here, it's going to also be decreasing. Okay, and now from here, I'm just going to do my best to kind of trace this through. So I'm going to go back up. I'll hit this max, back down, up, and down. And this would be my function, right? So I have all the maxes in there. I have all the mins in there. Um, and then I can see where I'm increasing and decreasing, and it does match with what I see here, so negative infinity to 6.67, it's decreasing. Negative 1 to 1, it's decreasing. 2.5 to infinity, it's decreasing. And then I can see it's increasing um, from negative 2.67 to 1 and increasing from 1.2 to 2.5. And that'll be it. Um, if you have any questions, you can ask uh, during class. Uh, Go to um, sign up for T-Bowl time or go to the center.